Hello, welcome back to Mama's Orchids. I'm going to do a walkthrough of uh, what is in bloom today. And today is um, February the 10th. And I may go through a few orchids that are in spike as well. This is uh, my Vanda, um, a very young Vanda. And um, if you remember, I refer this to, um, let's see, I have two of these. Uh, one, um, so I got both of them as a bag baby and they were stuck together. So two for the price of one sort of thing. Um, and they were little. And now that three years has passed, it's uh, blooming finally. Um, it's twin um, is, um, has bloom, had bloom this past summer um, and um, and now uh, this one is finally blooming. The um, flowers are not as big as the other one that bloomed this summer, but it has more flowers, more in quantity. So there's still another bud here yet to open. And this, I'm sorry, this one is called Kualdi's Fragrant. Kowalti Fragrant, um, and I looked at other ones online and they have a lot more purple um, background than this particular one uh, that I have. Um, the ones I've seen online, the purple spots are more profuse and, um, and it seemed like the background of the petals are more of purple than white and mine is white. And actually, I like this. I, I like this a little more. It's um, a little more delicate and dainty. Um, there's a yellow portion right here. And um, there's a little bit yellow up here too. So yeah, I like it. And yes, it is fragrant. Um, when the sun is out in the afternoon, um, it's uh, I can really smell it. It's um, very, uh, um, it's pretty strong. Okay, uh, next one, I have a no beal. It's no ID. Uh, it's from, um, let's see. It's one of those that I got a long time ago at Trader Joe's and um, I recently just repotted it and um, I also um, uh, cut off the old uh, kings that I knew weren't um, going to have any blooms anymore because all of the nodes um, have already bloomed on on the, on those other canes that I removed, and uh, we have. Uh, what's nice is um, while it's blooming, it's also um, this orchid also has started a few new canes. One, two, and three back there. So and maybe more. Four. One. Yeah. So yeah, I like it. Um, it's also fragrant and a lovely ladybird. Very reliable, long time bloomer uh, is still going, and I need to repot this thing. It is just out of control, the roots. So I'm going to repot it um, probably early in the spring. I've done a lot of repotting recently, but um, I think I'm going to hold this guy off until after it blooms so I can enjoy it a little longer. Um, coming down here, I have. Um, this guy, which I think I'm gonna make a separate video as well on him. Um, this is one of those Aussie uh, dendrobiums. Um, and he did not bloom for very long at all, but he is very neat looking. He's got that samurai stance look to it. Um, and the name is this right here. Okay. Um, and it does have a licorice um, smell to it. A little bit spicy, tiny, tiny bit spicy licorice smell. Um, and I have uh, this mini fowl, uh, no ID also, that is in bloom. And um, I, I think it's a little stressed. It had scale um, this past, this yeah, this past fall into winter and um, I have, I, I think I have um, gotten all that rid of that scale and cleaned it all off with alcohol. And now it's, um, so it gave a keki right there. 
and I think it's that that's because it's due to um, what do you call it uh, stress of the plant that it wants to reproduce really badly and so it's uh, that's why it's giving off that two keikis um, and as well as a bloom spike here yeah all right now I'm not sure about this particular keiki it's it seems to have halted it's no longer producing any more new um, leaves so but I love this color it's so deep it's a it's an iconic um, phalaenopsis uh, color so okay um, my uh, dendrobium fairy moon or fairy, yeah fairy moon sweetie is um, yet to bloom of course we have to wait till the spring because um, the buds take a long time to develop um, but it's getting there um, this is how big it is as you can see and it is also very fragrant it's a yellow um, yellow um, dendrobium um, and there are buds all over and continuing to develop even more as you can see um, they're varying in size so Yep. And what's nice also is I have a new growth coming right there, a new cane coming up. So that's exciting. Um, and this plant desperately needs repotting. It's been in this pot, um, I don't know, but probably three years. Yeah. That is long overdue for a repotting. Um, let's see if we can, I love looking at buds. Sometimes they're just as exciting as looking at the flower. So it, it's just, you're just kind of, it's like a bundle of surprise waiting to burst open. There's one more, but um, it's all over. Um, here's another one. Yeah. It's, all right, let's see what else. Um, and down here is a Catalea hybrid. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Lalea, Lalea Catalea, there we go. It's a Feather Ray, and I think a lot of people know this one. Um, it's new to me. Um, I purchased this about a year ago, and um, here's a bug finally. And I noticed that, um, pseudobulb that I grew. It's very plump, so succulent and juicy looking like you want to bite and eat into it. Yeah. And I noticed that um, it's stored quite a bit of food in that bulb versus the um, other pseudobulbs that it came with. And I think this is a new one too. It did not bloom last year. It halted somehow, maybe because of um, temperature issues. But this year, Voila, voila, there it is. Can't wait. I don't know what it looks like. Um, judging from the tag, it should be blue-ish intent. It says misty blue. Feather ray misty blue. Okay. Um, oh, another bud information is a um, snowflake. See if I can zoom in. Sorry, I'm filming right against the light here. There. And this is, uh, remember the tag is stuck in there. Here we go. Is uh, Dialia Snowflake times B Little Star. Okay. And you've seen this one before many times. I featured it too. Um, and this one is my Latoria, a very long time Latoria. I've had this thing for, oh goodness, um, how, I dare to say four years. It is uh, Dendrobium Fire Wings. Um, and um, let's see, 
There's the bud. I think it's kind of a maroon or um, fuchsia color. I have never seen it in bloom, but I've seen many pictures on the internet. So um, I can't wait. I'm hoping that um, I can give it enough sun. It's very bright in here, of course, um, but I hope I give it enough sun so that um, so that the bulbs can really mature. Okay, um, the plant itself is pretty big. It needs repotting badly, just like all the others. Yep. Okay, anything else? This is my lot of Jesse eye. Full of kekis, because I don't know how to grow it until now, I think. I just need to give a winter, re winter rest, a proper winter rest. This is uh, a, fil a film. Oh, kinky anum. Yes, my kinky anum is starting to open. Nope, no, not quite. A little bit longer. Okay. And, um, my, um, Dendrobium phalaenopsis. Um, this is like an antelope-ish, I wanna say. And it is a very reliable bloomer, lots of bloom. And I've even, I even take cuttings of it and put it inside the house to enjoy. I have actually quite a few sprays of cutting inside the house to enjoy. And it lasts pretty long, even in the house. So, okay. Um, You think anything else? Oh, yeah, this guy is done blooming though. My sherry baby, it is done for. Mm, I have a few more phalaenopsis that are in bud. So, um, and I'll make a separate video on that one. Okay, this last bit of video is um, a better view of the Cobaldi fragrance, uh, Vanda. Well, thank you for watching and I hope you all have a good day. Bye-bye.